Today I want to show you the first step that I like to do with a brand new puppy. I have a German Shepherd puppy that I'm training and when I start working with them when it comes to obedience I want them to love training. If I can get the dog to want to train then teaching them new behaviors becomes very very easy. Now when we're focusing on obedience in the beginning we're not worried about markers, we're not going to do engagement training, we're not worried about commands. All I want is for the puppy to understand how to follow a food lure. I'm gonna show you how to properly hold the food and then we're gonna have the puppy move in six different directions and positions relative to our body. The left heel position, the right heel position, the center, lateral movements right and left directly in front of us, and the backwards follow exercise, which is the first step towards teaching a very nice recall where the dog comes to the sit front position. When I'm doing my training with the puppy, when the puppy is moving and I'm actually luring the pup, then I'm praising them. The moment I give the dog the treat, I disengage, I walk away, and what I want is for the puppy to come back and re-engage me. So then the puppy starts to learn that he's making me work instead of me making him work. And this is what operant conditioning is all about. Opera conditioning is when a dog starts to understand that their behavior has an effect on their environment, meaning they can make good or bad things happen. And in this case, the puppy is making me work for him. And in the end, we get the results that we want. So I'm gonna show you this process each step so you can do this with your puppy at home. Before we bring out the puppy, I wanna show you some key details that you need to know before we get started. Number one is how we're going to handle the food. Now, often a big mistake people make is they hold the food with their fingertips. This is fine if you're just gonna do very simple, basic obedience. But if you really wanna take it to the next level, you're going to wanna place it in your hand and then use your thumb to secure the position. This creates a valley for our dogs to place their muzzle in in order to get the food, which helps a great deal when it comes to luring. Now, the puppy is gonna see two main pitches when we're luring. One is where it's going to look like this. They're going to bring their head up. This is going to keep our dog's head up so they get used to looking up, which is going to be important for the focused heel. And then the other picture that they're going to see is this right here, when we're moving away and we're guiding them and luring them into different positions. Now, it's similar, but because our dogs have to be generalized, this is slightly different. So we wanna make sure the puppy knows where the food is before we start doing the luring exercises. And you might have to just sit there and wait for your puppy to figure out the location. Once they know, they will go right to it every time and it's gonna make the luring very easy. Now, you're gonna see I'm gonna be moving my puppy to the left and to the right. This is what I call my lateral exercises. I'm stepping with my right leg as I'm going to the right. I'm dropping my body down, I'm guiding the puppy and then I release the food as my hand is moving. A common mistake a lot of people make is they will start to lure and then they'll stop their hand trying to encourage the puppy to get the food. But what that does, if you move and stop, your puppy will start to anticipate that and it will slow your puppy down. So you wanna continue the movement all the way until they grab it. Same thing when I come back the other side. So that's how I'm holding the food and how I'm moving for my left and right lateral movements. For my heel position, as I was showing you the handling before, I'm gonna have the puppy right next to my side. What I want is the puppy's nose straight up and it's gonna create a straight line from their jaw down to their chest. This is gonna help develop that really nice focused heel position. As I'm walking, in the beginning you might take one, two steps. And you're praising, good puppy! You release the food, walk away to disengage. Your puppy will eat the food and go, hey, I want more. And then your puppy's gonna come back to you to engage some more training. Now, when I'm guiding the puppy into the heel position, I step back with the leg relative to the side that I want the dog to be in. So if I want the dog to be in the right, you're gonna see I'm gonna step back, I'm gonna guide the puppy with my hand, and then I'm gonna flip around very quickly, catching them on this side, and then I'm gonna start walking. Good, and then again, I release the treat. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Now, for the center position, you're gonna notice the movement is the same. The only difference is, if I step back and I want the puppy to be on my left heel position, that's the movement. We bring it back, boom, right back into that left heel position. If I want the center, I like to use my opposite hand, but I'm gonna step back with the same leg. I'm gonna do the exact same movement as in the left heel position, but I'm gonna bring the puppy right into the center. And then I'm gonna walk with the puppy in the center position. And then the last one, the backwards follow, we're walking back. We have our hand, this can be uncomfortable if your dog's a little bit bigger, but we walk back, our hand is nice and close to our body, and then we praise. Once they're in a good position, we can release, 
And then again, we go quiet for a moment, we disengage, they eat, they come back, and we start it back up again. Once you have your pup moving very nicely in these different positions, then we're going to add the sit and the down. Now, what I like to do, this is a little trick I learned from Nino, which is an excellent dog trainer. As you're walking, when the dog starts to understand the movement of the lure, when we lift up, the puppy's nose goes up, butt goes down, then we give them the food. But if we show them by applying a little bit of pressure on their back end and then lifting up, we can start to teach them to sit very quickly. And we're gonna do the same thing with the down. We apply a little pressure, lure them into the down position. In addition, final important note, when we're doing the down, the way that I hold the food is I have it in my hand and then as I bring it down, we really have to bend our wrist back. So my hand is going back like this. It feels uncomfortable, but what that does is as we go down, your dog's muzzle goes underneath almost like a cave and then it naturally brings that back end down. And then we reward them and go on to the next set. The better your handling skills are, the better your puppy is going to look. So let's bring the little guy out and get started. I like to start with a phrase to let them know we're training. Are you ready? Are you ready to train? So remember the first thing, he already knows this, but just show your puppy where the food is. Give them a minute to figure out how it looks. Show them the other picture where the hand is facing the opposite direction. So you can see relative to him, the thumb is now on his left. And when I do it this way, the thumb is now on his right. So that is a different picture to him. Now, we already have him doing these exercises, so I'm going to start with those lateral movements. Notice how it's nice and straight, boom, and then I release. Come on, little guy, nice and straight, and then I release. Now, I'm gonna show you how it looks when I'm training, because when I'm explaining it, you're gonna miss some key details, so let's go. Good, very nice. Very good, excellent. Yay, that's a good little puppy. Very good, my little man. There's that center movement. Good job. Let's do another one of those. Notice how I step back with this left leg. Whew, that was a little sloppy, but it's okay. Good. Now we're going to do it on the left heel position. Very nice. That's a good boy. Do a couple more lateral movements. Good. Excellent work. Disengage, good, he re-engages me. A little bit of that backwards follow, excellent. Give him the piece, disengage. Very nice, that's a good boy. You see how he's working me? That's what we wanna see, we want him working us. Let's do that movement, good, nice right heel position, and then release. Now I can do the same thing where I spin him into the center that way, but I step back with my right leg. Very good, now we're going to add the sit and the down. So I'm gonna guide him back this way, good, quick turn. And now I'm gonna lift. We're just gonna do the lift at first. Excellent, remember no commands. I'm giving him the food when he's in the position. Good, that was very nice. We'll do another sit. I'm just lifting up, giving him the treat. Excellent. Now we're gonna do the down. Look at how I bend my hand to get him to bring his body down. Good work, my little man. Same thing here, very nice. Now we're gonna do the same thing in the left, right heel position as well as the center. He's a little crooked there. Very good. Must get it on the right side as well. Excellent. Make him, oh, I messed that up. Good job, buddy. Right back into that center position. Now we're gonna sit there. This is gonna help him become generalized. Same thing with that backwards follow. We lift, get him to put his butt down. Excellent, give him the treat, disengage. Very nice, now we're gonna do the down. Boom. Good boy, let's get him back to the right side and then back into the down position, excellent. And then let's get him in the center, very good. Back into the down, that's my good man. We'll do the backwards follow here, good job. And now we're gonna drop down, put him in the down position, give him the treat, excellent. Very good, nice work. Now we're gonna add the additional hand, so whoop. Very good, let's speed up that movement a little bit. I'm gonna cut him back this way and then put him back into the sit, good job. And let's go back the opposite direction, whoop. Very nice, some sound effects for fun. We're gonna come back this way and then, whoa, very good. Dropping him into the down position. Excellent, buddy, let's do a couple more. He's almost out of food, so that's gonna conclude the session. Good, now let's bring him into the heel position. Same thing, boom, right into the down. And then into the sit, good. Let's do another sit, very nice. Take him to the right heel position. 
Boom, into the sit, good. And another sit, excellent. Nice work. And then again, the center, very nice. And if you start getting really brave, you feel like your puppy is following you nicely, you can start transitioning from the center position. Oh, he lost it to the heel position. Good. Let's get another one. Very nice. Working on those mechanics, his muscle memory. We're training an athlete here. So he really has to know how to use his body. And this is why in the future exercises, we're also going to teach him to walk backwards, to pivot that back end. And remember, training sessions need to be fun. So that one, I actually had him spin the wrong way. So I made a mistake there. If you make a mistake, no big deal. Very good. We just go into the training. We don't worry about it. One mistake is not going to ruin your puppy. Very good, buddy. And now I let them know we're done. I'm out of breath. All done. Short, fun session. And it should look at, he wants to keep going. He's like, let's keep training. Let's have a good time. And that's what we want to see because now he wants to train. And as I continue to do this, this is going to be one of his favorite activities and we're going to see a really awesome dog. So I hope you guys do the same thing at home and enjoy this video.